All right, guys, I'm about to plan out Valentine's week and my main Hobonichi cousin. This is my sneaker. This is where I keep all my home plans in it. So this is my main one here. Um, I do have different Hobonichi cousins. I have one for journaling and I have one for my schoolwork because I'm taking some college classes. But this is my main one that I do all of my home planning. I have a separate planner for work and then I have a memory planner. That's my Hobonichi cousin. But I used the kit last week in my work planner that um, was this kit here from Kylie, uh, Lexi Kylie Designs. And these are the extra stickers that I have left as well as I used a monthly kit in my Hobonichi Cousin for this. And these are all the stickers that I have left. Um, and I'm going to use all of this to like plan for today. So let me see what I'm going to be doing with this. So bear with me because I have basically no plan. We're just going to go with this and see what works. I'm going to start with the bigger stickers, of course, because I want to put like the leftover part of the journaling kit because this kit was a lot. I didn't need all these stickers. So we're going to put some of that down first. Um, I have some torn paper stickers and stuff. So I don't even think I'm going to need any washi because there's just so many decorative stickers on here. Like that's really pretty. I'm not even sure where I'm going to put that, but here we go. We're going to wing it together. All right, so I'm just going to turn that over right there, and I may be flipping things all around, so give me a second to take a look at it. I know this one is going to go right down here. This torn paper strip, because that looks beautiful there, and it fits. So that's going to be the first thing that I put down. Okay, so I'm going to take some more look at these larger pictures I would really like to use this sticker here how would it look right I'm gonna just pull it off and I'm gonna like hold it up to some various locations and see how I feel about it should I put it here well I can't turn it upside down the roses will all be upside down I could also put it down here I could put it down here and cover up that but it's like kind of designed to go sideways like this so maybe I'll just stick it like right here uh-oh, don't stick down yet because it's not straight. Oh my God, don't do it. Please don't tear. These stickers are super sticky, so bear with me while I'm very, very carefully pulling this up. And it looks like it is going to come up, but I have to be super careful with putting this down to get it straight. Okay. Because that sticker is super sticky. All right, so I'm going to put that there. So this is looking pretty good so far already. So I like this. All right. So I want to put something down here because I'm not feeling that. How does this Cupid's Brewing go? This sticker is going to go down here just because I like it. I don't know what a Cupid's Brewing Co. is, but we're going with it. So we do need to leave some space to do some like functional things. Um, I do have my tracker here, which I need to put down, but I don't want to mess up how pretty this is looking. I may make my own tracker this week. Do I have a smaller tracker? Let me see if I have a smaller tracker. Let me pull my scrap sticker thing and see if I have just like a tiny tracker in here somewhere. I have a gray one. Let's see if I can have a red or a pink or something. So if I have an extra tracker somewhere. Here's a red tracker, but I need to track more than one thing, so. See if I have like a multi tracker somewhere in the spare stuff. I need to put the rest of my scrap stickers in here. I didn't see one. I bet I can put, uh, well, no, if I put the daily task there and then separate that because I'm trying to figure out how to, I mean, the only place it fits is right there and I don't really want to stick it right there. Let me look through here and see if there's any trackers. And my stickers I have beside me. I don't see any so it looks like we're putting this tracker in there regardless because I do need a tracker for the week so this is like not one of those optional kind of accessories and I always just cut it right there because I separate the notes from the tracker because I just need the tracker part. I really don't know how I feel about putting this right here. If I turn it sideways, it's just weird. What if I put it like right down here? Let's do that. Just put 
put Ray down here and cover up this. And I still can write on Sunday. And I put that down super crooked. Sweet baby Jesus, I don't know if this is going to pull up. Oh, it's pulling up really easy, actually. Let me try to put that on a little more straight. But it does fit down here. I don't know how I'm going to get this on straight. Let me see. One moment, please. I'll use the squares to help me line it up. this is straight there we go all right so I'll just have to put the tracker down there it's not where I normally put it but hey it's all right it'll work down there covers up the quote but who cares it's not like I'm gonna read it anyway <laughs> okay so let's look here again where's my other decorative sheet I got this one let's see if we can put any more of this down we have the 14th some rose I like these little washi strips they're super cute Let's see if I can find something functional to do with these washi strips. I'll put this one right up here at the top. Try to get it on straight. Put that one there. Then I can put something under it. Sorry, I dropped a sticker sheet in the floor. Let me grab that. Here we go. And I have a February right here. So I'm going to pull this off and use it. Put that right up there. All right, so that's cute because the second month, that's what the two's for. Um, let's see what else. We got all these stickers. Let's look at them for a second. Let me see what functional tasks that I need to actually put in here. Let's flip back. So I need a sleep tracker. Usually put a place for notes. I'll put this here. So I maybe can put the note sticker actually on this side. Um, actually, I have this for notes. So I could put this down for notes. And I'll just label it notes. So let's see if I have a sticker that says notes. Tasks this month. Notes. Date night to do. I'm still looking through the pages. Give me a minute. Any of them say notes. I'm still looking. There's still more pages. Date night again and to do work task well i did see a note sticker in here so let's flip in the back and let's grab that pretty sure i saw them that said notes overview work goals projects notes right here i knew i saw them that said notes so i'll grab that and stick it here for my notes because i always have a note sticker there and I need a, just some decorative stuff. I need something for this week. That's probably what I'm going to put here is this week. Let me see if I have anything that says this week in here. Reminder today to do projects, dinners, goals, work. I don't see anything that says this week. But I bet that that's something that I can pull out of my random like icon sticker stuff. So here are my like freebies from Planner Kate. They usually have some that have like words on them. So here we go. Uh, today doesn't say this week on this one. I used it already, I think. So let's keep flipping because there's more, I'm sure. Okay, here's one that says this week. So we'll use this and put it right here. Let's scooch it down a little more. Nope, still put it on a little crooked. I guess it's as straight as it wants to be. Let me see how that looks. I'm going to pick it up, see if it looks straight. Oops, it's still a little bit crooked. Well, I just cannot get this sticker to go on straight. And now it's too high up on that side. I'm working on it. There we go. That's pretty straight. What do y'all think? All right. So that's where I'll put the things for this week. Um, 
And you note that I have to go right there because I have these super little bitty tiny heart stickers right here. I'm going to use them to make a task list for this week. That's usually what I put in here. So I will use them to put little bullet points here. That is super cute. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so there I'll go. I'll put my things to do for this week right there. And here's my notes. And then I put some little decorative something over here. Let's see. What have we got left that's decorative? Got all of these things and these things. So what do you say? What are we gonna put right there? Make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Oh, I still need my sleep tracker. So let me grab my sleep tracker and stick it on there. Did I put the sleep tracker? There it is. So let's see. I think I'll just use the gray one because then the other, well, there's a pink one. But I don't really have a lot of pink on there, so I think I'll just use the gray one. And that one will be for sleep. I don't think I have anything that says sleep on it. It's a little bit crooked. There we go. That's where my sleep tracker will go, and then I can fill in with some decorative stuff. That leaves me enough spot to put this really pretty rose right here. So that'll go there. And let's see what we can put in that other space. I'm still looking around. I think I like this, but I don't know if that whole thing will fit right there. Maybe one of these hearts. I'll just put one of these hearts in there. Or a couple of them. There we go. That's perfect. Put a couple of those hearts in there. Now this is all done and I've used some more of those leftover stickers. What do you guys think with that? I think it's pretty cool. Now let's decorate the other side of the page just a little bit. Um, I have some of these um, washi strips and I got this little torn piece right here. I think I'll put this up at the top. That right up there. That's cute. Give me some color. Um, got this other little heart sticker right here. Maybe I'll put this right here. There we go. That's cute. You guys see all that? Pull it down a little bit so you guys can see in frame. So there we go so far with that. Then I have to put my plans on here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I usually just put little dots down through here and I usually color this and I put a line down through here for this. So let's um, grab my ruler and let's put my straight line on here. So give me one second to grab the ruler. And I'll draw my line as I typically do. For my dinners will go there. Need a little bit more up here. There we go. A little bit crooked, but I'm alright with it. And then we need to highlight. Um, I'm going to grab a highlighter that's this brown color. So give me just one second to grab that. Um, I don't know which color that I like. Give me a second to test the colors. I'm going to flip to the back. I like to test the colors on this back page to see what they're going to look like. It's pretty close. I'm going to use this one. And this is where I'll book right dinner. figure out a way to get it up here and we'll just put it right there and that's where all my dinners will go and I typically put um, stuff here 
but I'm going to use my dot marker instead and I'm going to just I don't know how dark this is. Let me check on the back and see if I can see through after I dot. Let me dot on the top of something and see if I can still read it. Oh, that's super bright. I don't know how I feel about using that dot marker. Let me see if I have some transparent stickers, which I mean, I know I do, so. I have just transparent stickers. None of those colors match. Let me see if I can find another sheet of that. There we go, and there's some red ones on there, so I'm gonna use these. Put these transparent stickers on top of the dates. So give me just a second to pull these off. They take just a little bit of effort to do so. So we'll give it some color over here, 13. I don't know how I feel about that. We're gonna do it anyway, so what else am I gonna put on it? 13. Wish I had heart ones, but I do not. 14. You can still see through it, can't you? Yeah. 15. straighten up the 16 one in just a minute. Pull some off. If I can't get it off. Just put on a little bit more straight. Turn the edge back up. There we go. That one's straighter now. So there we go, we got the days of the week in there and I'll stamp on top of those two with my tan stamp marker. For that. So that gives me what need for that. So what do you think about my layout? This should be dry. I'm going to write dinner in here. And as I label stuff throughout the week, I'll put some more of these little small icons and things like that. We are not going on date night until uh, Friday or Saturday night, um, probably Friday night, but um, I'll put the date night sticker down, whichever one that we end up doing, uh, because we're celebrating, um, Al has, my husband has to work on Valentine's Day, so we're gonna celebrate it the weekend after. And uh, technically we're going on date night tonight, um, but it's more for his mom's birthday because his mom's birthday is tomorrow. Um, so we can put this here. It'll likely be Friday night. So we can stick that here, date night. So that's super cute. Let me see if I can find a heart or something to go for that. So give me just a second. Yep, I can put this little part right here, date night. There we go. That's the only thing I know for certain that I'm going to do because the rest of the days that I work. Um, so there's what we have. So I hope you like it. Um, and like I said, I'll be putting some more things in it as I write in it throughout the week. But right now this is what I've got. And I used, I still have all of these left. So I still have enough to continue decorating another spread. I'll probably decorate my journal kit with some of these because I still have a lot of these left. I'll probably use like some of these through here, to be honest, because I have them all. So 
that will probably work out for that. But here's what we look like. Um, let me look at my, here's my February calendar. I'm actually gonna mark something on here and I'm gonna use one of these. So one second, let me grab this because I am gonna mark that we are going dancing tonight. So give me just a second to dig out a sticker for that. There are some that will fit in here. So today is the 11th. So I'm gonna put a sticker in here and I'll put this one, oh, I like this one, this one down. And it is the Valentine's dance tonight. So I am gonna mark that down. V-Day dance. Okay. And then Al's mom's birthday is here, so I'm gonna put that down too. And I'll put one of these little balloon stickers. So there we go. And that's pretty much all I know right now. So, so I'm off on Friday, so that's why we're going out on Friday to celebrate Valentine's. But so here's what my week looks like for next week. I think it turned out really nice. I can go ahead and label this sleep. And this will be four, five, six, seven, eight, because I rarely get eight. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's how I do that. Um, and then I'll go ahead and label my not really daily task. It's just, um, I track my meds here. I track when I cook. I track when I plan and when I film. So this is what gets written here. So the, this is as, the most that I can write now for real. So let me center it up so you can see how it looks. I hope you like the spread. Again, I'll flip to the monthly spread so you can see it too. But this is next week's spread. I really like it. I like how it turned out. I think it looks great. And I just used scrap sticker kits. So you don't have to buy kits for this. If you're buying kits for one of your other planner, just use the stickers that are left over. There's no reason to spend between, you know, four and ten dollars a week to plan in this. It's just not necessary. I used a few highlighters and some stickers that I had from another kit. I'm already buying sticker kits for my bigger kits and they fit in here, the scrap, so it's fine. But you guys have a good day. Um, I hope you all have a good Valentine's Day if I don't talk to you by then. Bye!